Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is when you've got two different thoughts in your head and they're kind of at loggerheads with one another. Um, and it's that uh, feeling that you get that's sometimes not conscious um, when you're trying to resolve uh, that conflict. So there's a lot of theory that goes behind this that suggests that that feeling actually motivates you to force a choice, right? A choice that you might not necessarily um, uh, have endorsed otherwise. And the classic experiment that shows this is Festinger's uh, experiments into cognitive dissonance, where he had a pegboard uh, with hundreds of pegs in it. And he asked participants to turn, to quarter turn each peg. And then at the end of the experiment, he said to the participant, look, I've got a race to another experiment. I need you to recruit someone to continue this experiment. So you can imagine yourself as the participant. You've just done this really boring, long-winded experiment turning pegs that you've been told is for a memory experiment. And you're just thinking, oh, this is boring. This is pretty pointless. And then he says to you, I want you to find somebody else to do what you've just done. Okay. So there were two groups. One group was told, uh, I'll pay you $5 to do this. And the other group was not given any money. Now you'd think that the group that got paid $5 would do a better job of this because, um, you know, they've, they've got a reward. They've got incentive to go out and recruit people. Uh, but what the data actually shows is that the people who got paid nothing did a better job. And the reason for this is that the people who got paid nothing experience cognitive dissonance because on the one hand they're going um, this was really boring I don't really see the point in this I didn't want to do it but then on the other hand they've got to try and convince other people to do what they've just done so so they've got these two conflicting values one thing is saying it's boring I shouldn't I don't want to do it and they've got the other value that is um, I have to find somebody else to do this and convince them that it's good and they're, they're conflicting so to alleviate that tension the participants unknowingly internalize the value that has least resistance, which is actually maybe the experiment wasn't that bad. Maybe it was all for science and all of a sudden they become a lot more effective at convincing other people to do the experiment. On the flip side, the people who got paid $5 could go to people, go to go up to somebody and say, I want you, to, uh, I did this experiment and I got paid $5. So they've got a different justification for why they're convincing other people and so you don't get that same level of cognitive dissonance. Um, and so you see this all the time. If, if somebody's behavior um, doesn't align with their cognition, that also, and when I say cognition, I mean their thoughts, um, then that can also cause it. So the, uh, uh, this is used as a sales tactic all the time, um, like the, the foot in the door technique. If you ask somebody to do something small, a little thing that they're likely to say yes to, they're far more likely to then say yes to the big thing um, that you want afterwards. So um, if you ask uh, your parents for a big birthday party, for instance, um, and that you think they're likely to say no, they're far more likely to say yes if before asking them for a birthday party, you say, can I have a birthday cake? And they're likely to say yes to that. And once a person says yes, um, they've, they've uh, begun a process of cognitive dissonance where their behavior is aligning with a cognition that doesn't completely sit with, the, with what they actually want to do. Um, there's a stack of amazing experiments looking at cognitive dissonance. I might record another video on it because I think this is a really awesome area of psychology. Um, let me know what you think. Can you think of any other examples where cognitive dissonance might apply? Um, yeah, sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I've just moved into a new apartment uh, out from home, so hopefully I'll be doing a couple more videos more than, more than normal. Um, yeah, see ya.